Here's a quick video on the uh, Pixel 2, my CAG. Everyone's CAG is going to be slightly different on the, what they're carrying and what they're weighing and what mods they've done. But uh, on my little homemade stand, um, this is balancing out right where it should be. Um, underneath, let's have a look. Where that spar, middle spar, runs all the way through from this leading edge back 70mm. Then I basically I um, cut a piece of paper, cross on it, sort of taped it on there, just so I could see it there. Um, so right in the centre of the spire, 70 mil CG. Uh, so with my CG, um, which is on this little homemade stand, it's balancing out perfect. Like that. So. Uh, to get my CG, I'm carrying right up in the front of the in, in the nose is a 2200 uh, Turnigy or the 2200 Nanotech. Slightly, you know, that's pretty much the only way about 10 grams different or so. Uh, this uh, that balance is perfect. Now, if I put this in there, which it will squeeze in there, which is 22.65, um, just squeezes in there all the way to the nose as far as you can get it it'll be nose heavy which is still okay because I can still still fly it like that and adjust it whatever but I've only got one of those anyway so um, did make a mistake and ordered uh, one of these 1500s not too disappointed because from Hobby King it was reasonably cheap and I will find another use for it somewhere else uh, because obviously I was heard from other people's experience on CAG that you could put any battery in the front and, and anywhere in the front in the CNG and it was fine well when I put that one in there it was totally tail heavy uh, unflyable I chucked it up did not want to know um, basically it came down on its own lucky enough uh, no damage but if you're going to use anything less on my well on my plane anyway uh, if I'm using anything less than a 2200 I've got to put a lot more weight in the nose um, but then it's defeating the point is carrying dead weight I'd rather have uh, battery weight and uh, run time so really that was my mistake on that but never mind so basically um, also as well what I did was this is a um, four mil carbon fiber just pushed in the end not even glued tight fit is a drill uh, and then you've got the main spar running through the middle which is six mil and then here about about this length or so one there and one there now I use this just to not even with a drill just by hand twisting it to pull out a load of foam and then I've inserted two of those so if I put the flashlight on the top you can just see shining through the foam there's one there there's the main spire in the middle there's there's another one at the back and it runs right up to that servo there let's see there there's one there and there's one at the back there just about see them Obviously, and you can't see the one in the middle, um, but it, it runs three quarter way down the length anyway. So that seems to stiffen up the wing a little bit better. Uh, from, from a stand, just a piece of wood, just screwed together from a pegs. Um, I fold the points off because I didn't want them really sharp digging in the foam. And I had a couple of old, old spoons that I didn't use anymore. So I'll just cut those up, that'll do for that. And uh, if we just rock the front a bit, that is as far as the 2200 will go. And uh, it's perfect on that. So that's my video on my Bixel 2 CFG. Thanks for watching.